How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Farming Simulator 19 Survival Series. So, it is exactly 8 o'clock in the morning, and we are just gonna take care of the animals real quick here. And, um, why can I not grab the broom? There we go. Okay, so, um, yeah, the animals are doing really well. Uh, they don't really need anything. All of them have got a lot of food. Everything's in the green. Um, it's just basically cleaning up and while we're there we might as well give them a, a splash of water and Yeah, hopefully today we can get our vehicle to Take care of all of these pallets and things that would be fantastic. Uh, there we go. We'll grab this one clean up that and a bit of water Like it so Hello sheep Good morning sheep Hello. I like the sheep. Sheep are awesome. Really, really cool. Okay. Um, next up is the cows. And in today's episode, we are going to try and, as I said, buy a new vehicle. Oh, goodness. I forgot the doors open um, for the cows. Hopefully, they weren't too cold. I haven't actually seen if this building lights up at night. Um, I haven't actually paid attention. I, I really should do that. No, 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 no. Don't get in there. Right. Come on, broom. You've got one job. Um, yeah, I haven't actually checked. I, I should. I should check that. Uh, because I some people have tried to explain to me where a light switch is in this building. I have not been able to find one. So I think it might actually be on the other version of this building. Um, in terms of milk... We are sitting on 3,714 liters of milk. We still need to buy a milk trailer, which we can probably do when we buy the sort of animal vehicle thingy-mabob. I don't really know what to call it because it's... Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know what to call it. it it's sort of going to be taking care of the animals, but it's kind of more just taking care of moving the animal products. If that makes any sense. So, um, yeah, I don't really know what to call it. So, I really want to buy that today. It'll be fantastic if we can buy that today. And, um, yeah, we've been buying quite a lot of equipment uh, lately. We haven't built our house yet. And I still kind of want to buy a new pickup truck. But at this point, we've had that one for literally the entire series from episode one. Um, we've had that all... When did we actually discover it? Because it wasn't... It was sort of hidden. So, I don't know if it was episode 1 when we found it. But, I mean, it's been on the farm since we've been here. Whether we've known about it or not. Um, why is everything so stuttery? Everything's really stuttery. I don't like that. Something's odd. And it's been... I don't know. It's just lately things aren't as smooth as it used to be. And I think it's more a PC-related issue than a game related issue to be completely honest um everything's just been a bit odd as of late um right i don't want create fields on um i want to use a smaller we've got the the really big plow um that we're gonna put on the really big john deere um but i want to use this just to try and find that boundary point again and yeah, we'll bring in the big John Deere when we know exactly where we're going with this. So, um, yeah, because I tried to sort of cut on a line which I could kind of see, but, I mean, I didn't really know where I was going, so it was a bit of a, a guesstimate, um, I guess. Um, yeah, <laughs> right. So, we are going to be, be doing this today. I want to get this field plowed in and if you've missed the previous episodes the reason why i am re-plowing this field i know i don't need to and um, the grass will just regrow and um, the reason i am plowing it again is because i never limed it before we seeded it and um it was fertilized and everything so it was a decent yield that we got off of this we made hay off of this field um which worked out really well we got many 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 hay bales out of it um, but yeah, I want to replant it, but I want to lime it first so that, um, 
yeah, we sort of get the the highest yield out of this area that we possibly can. Uh, we've got another grass area that I want to be plowing up today as well. And uh, that is a brand new grass area. We've get, uh, given it one cut. And I mean, we might actually cut it again if it's depending on how much it's grown. Uh, we might actually cut it again just because I don't want to waste the grass. But we'll see. Maybe I'll just plow it in. Um, I'm not really sure. I'll see when I get there what the condition of the grass is. I mean, there's nothing there. It hasn't been seeded. It's just sort of wild grass. There's no fertilizer, no nothing um, in that area. So, yeah, I thought while I do this one, I might as well do that one. So this one, predominantly, we use for getting bales, grass bales, um, hay bales, and possibly silage bales and things like that um, the other field is basically just cut and collect to make grass silage so it is a much bigger area than this one and it just works well for grass silage um, cut it row it in fact our mowers they sort of just row automatically which is nice we bought some very nice vicon mowers and um, yeah they've been working really really well for us and i mean we've got a really big rower now so it might actually still be worth um rowing after mowing uh, just to make collection a little bit easier but really not necessary to be honest um we'll see next time we get around to it which might actually be today i don't know if we'll cut that today but i mean there's always a possibility that we that we might do that um yeah but we shall see i, I don't think we'll mow it uh, we've got so much grass silage at the moment, we don't really need any more. Um, I think we've already got more than what we'll be able to use before this um, series actually comes to an end, to be honest, because we're well into this series. But, um, I mean, there's still quite a bit that I want to do. So, I'm not in a big hurry to end it. Um, I Basically, we'll end it when the time feels right. When it comes to sort of a natural end then that's when we'll end it when it feels like we don't have that much to do anymore um i definitely want to build the new house and get rid of the old one to sort of finish off the farmyard completely um i was gonna buy a new pickup truck but as i said earlier we've had that um, other pickup truck for so long now that it kind of it doesn't feel right to replace it and um, we've still got a bunch of firewood that we need to get sorted out from the the last the sort of what was it the east um farmyard build uh we've got a lot of trees that we need to chop up and make into some firewood and get all of that sold and um yeah whatever remains from that we're just gonna sell as logs so yeah we've still got quite a lot of work to do and we've still got uh, crops in the ground that i want to do at least one more harvest before we ended and the field right in front of us is a canola field so we're going to be making diesel out of that we are going to be making some ccm out of the the corn that we've planted in the field behind this one and um yeah just still still a lot to do still a lot that i want to achieve um on on this here save and yeah it, it'll be kind of sad to end it because it's, it's been quite a journey, to be honest. So, yeah. The only thing that's really bothered me on this series has always been performance. Um, some quite heavy frame drops and things. And as of late, it's been a bit of a problem again. It went away for a couple of episodes. Um, where I figured out some, some settings and things that made everything a little bit smoother. But as of late, it's been a little bit of a problem again. Um, it seems to be mostly map related because I don't really notice any of it on other maps um, Maybe a little bit here and there on like Sandy Bay and things, but Not a big deal really So again, I think it's more PC related than game related at this point I do think that this map specifically has a bit of an issue around the farmyard um, others have Said that they have sort of a similar thing so I don't think that is PC related, but the, the new stuttering that I'm experiencing, I think might be PC related. I think I just need to sort of get rid of everything, do a full 
format and just start again. That would probably be an ideal situation, but I won't. I don't want to do that right now because there's so much going on, sort of, in my life at the moment that I don't really know what tomorrow is going to bring. So I don't want to get sort of bogged down in things like formatting a PC and getting everything set up again if I don't absolutely have to. Um, because I might have to do that. Well, I might have to just sort of... I don't know. Just... I don't know how to phrase this because I don't really know what's going on. But what I'm trying to say is I don't want to waste time right now. I want to make as many videos as I possibly can and not get bogged down with other unnecessary things. So I know it probably needs a, a good cleanup and a format and everything, but um, I don't think now is the right time to do it. And if you do want to know more about what I'm talking about and yeah, just life in general at the moment, which is super weird and um, yeah, just kind of sucks, then make sure to join the live streams. I've been live streaming um, a little bit as of late and I'm going to try and sort of continue the live streams and yeah try and live stream at least every day or so i uh, don't really have a schedule at the moment but yeah we'll get there we just sort of do what we have to um right so this is going to be a new field so this is not um limited to fields because there's never been a field here and um, so we're going to just sort of cut this out get a, a rough shape going it's this is going to be a, a sort of a complex field i guess um but it's fine. We don't use GPS on these sort of fields anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, we just sort of want to maximize this space. So I'll probably do two rounds of this, um, cut the basic shape of the field, and then just do another sort of headland cut, and then we'll bring the big plow in. Actually, with this, I'll probably have to do three, three rows around, um, or three widths around, uh, just because the plow that we've got um, the big plow is is big. It's like really really big. So With all of these corners and turns and things um, I'm gonna need a little bit of space so um, Yeah, um, what I was saying is if you want to know more about what's going on join the live streams uh, When I live stream just keep an eye out and um, for when it says I'm live and um, Yeah, just pop in there and if you sort of curious just go so what's the deal? And I'll tell you what the deal is. I don't want to bring it into videos too much. But um, yeah, I think I've been rambling for long enough. So I am going to drop into a time lapse. We're going to get the headlands, um, what is effectively going to be the headlands, um, for this grass field knocked out. Probably about, I don't know, yeah, I think about three times around should be fine. And... Um, yeah, then we'll go grab the big John Deere that hasn't been out of that shed for quite some time now. We'll go grab that, we'll grab the big plow, and we'll get this knocked out real quick, um, along with the other fields. So for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy.
so we've only got the last little bit to do here and oh my goodness i say it every time but this tractor is an absolute beast of a machine i love it it's such a cool piece of equipment it's just a pity we don't get to use it um, as often as i would like to um, but we are probably going to be using it for seeding as well here so that's good now it's gonna get some hours under the belt which is nice so here we go last two little patches and this is a massive grass field i mean it's huge so um yeah definitely not going to have a shortage of silage or anything like that anytime soon so there we go that is job done it's very bumpy this plowed ground um but yeah that's good that's good well not the bumpiness that's not good i mean the fact that that is all plowed is good so i'm happy with that got some some good work done today it's been a while since we've actually been in the field doing like some some fun work some satisfying work uh, we've only been doing some fertilizer spreading and spraying and things like that as of late and taking care of the animals i mean taking care of the animals is fun don't get me wrong but i do enjoy field work a lot right we're gonna leave this here because everything needs to be washed and cleaned up uh we're gonna limit oh oh not that one well actually let's give it a quick save while we're here um yeah that's fine that is not set to create fields anymore um right so i think i think next thing that we need to do is we need to head up to the shop and go buy our new vehicle so i just wanted to have a quick look back here and the main piece of equipment that is going to be operating um is over here yeah and it is red so i want to see if we can buy the new piece of equipment in red so i am gonna hop up to the shop and we're gonna be buying that vehicle i don't think there's much in terms of um things we can change on it sort of options on it so yeah we shall see but anyway i'll see you guys up at the shop all right so here we are up at the shop and i don't know why i always try and keep what i'm buying a secret because you guys probably know from the either the thumbnail or the title of the video or both so you guys probably know exactly what we're buying anyway um but if you didn't know we are buying an electric tractor and how cute is that little thing so it's got the front attacher which is perfect because i want to use it for pallet loading and it's just so cool we don't have to put diesel in it and it's just electric we'll have to probably um i don't know get a little Ooh, we can put double wheels on it we're not going to but that looks so cool that looks so mean but i fear that that might mess around with the um the usability of it i don't want to get wheels stuck and everything this thing is just going to be in the farmyard it's not going to be doing anything fancy um, so we are going to buy this new, and I want to see if I can buy it in red. Ooh, a Massey Ferguson red. Ooh. I mean, I like the original color, but... Ooh, I think I'm going to go with the Massey Ferguson red here. Or maybe the, the case red. It's just a little bit lighter, I think. It, it's just not as strong of a color. And that is so cool! I love that. Yeah, so we can have the pallet attachment on here and we can pull the trailers around for feed and things and yeah, we don't have to put diesel in it and we'll have to put some sort of a charging station up somewhere. But yeah, pretty cool. I think we're going to go with the Trilliborg. Uh, Michelin maybe. Trilliborg is quite chunky. Um, Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, so we're going to buy that brand new. That's $51,000. And boom. There we go. We bought a a new tractor. A, an electric tractor. Look at it. It's so cute. It's adorable. It's even got a buddy seat. And it's so tiny. That's awesome. That's going to be a great little replacement for our skid steer. And I just thought while we are up here, um, let's have a quick look. What we can do in terms of a milk trailer. Um, 
Yeah, that's really a water trailer. Um, we'll probably have to go for one of these. So, second hand, save $5,000. Yeah, just a trailer. Right, there we go. So, I mean, we're going to have to pull it with this little thing, which obviously isn't ideal. Oh, it's, there's like no noise. It's so cool. All right. Um, I don't know if this can even pull it empty. It's okay. I mean, the trailer's wheels are bigger than the tractor's back wheels. So, but it's pulling it just fine. I mean, it is empty. It, it'll never pull it under if it's got any sort of weight on it. But, um, yeah, so we're going to be using that. We've got a, an identical trailer like this uh, that we use for diesel. But um, this is going to be for milk. So we just have to make sure that we don't get confused with the two of them. Because you don't want to be putting milk in a diesel trailer. Um, it probably wouldn't allow you to do it anyway, but, um, yeah, that'll be, that'll be bad. Oh, it's so cool. I love it. It's, I've been waiting so long to buy this little thing. It's awesome. Yeah, that's going to be very, very handy, um, to, to run around with this, um, with the animals. So, it's really, like I say, it's really just going to be feeding the chickens, basically. And, um sort of moving pallets around egg pallets and wool pallets and things like that it's not really going to have anything to do with the cows uh, because it's not gonna be working on feed or anything because it doesn't have a front loader it just have a front it has a front attacher but yeah it's going to be very very handy it's basically a direct replacement of the john deere skid steer and i just like it because it's quick 43 kilometers an hour compa uh, compared to 13 and it's just different it's just so much different and the front loader attachment thing is so handy it's it's really easy to use and you don't struggle as often with uh, sticky pallets and things like that so it's just super super handy and it's got the attachment strap thingamabob as well so that's always a plus and um, so your pallets and things don't fall off right um, we are going to leave this trailer here as well because this needs a good cleaning. I'm just literally building up a, a, a pile of equipment over here, really. But that's okay. I'll do that off screen, get them all washed up and maybe serviced if needs be. Um, anything that needs to attach? Yes, indeed. Yeah, all right, there we go. So, let's see if this is going to work out the way I planned it in my head. That is so cool. I love it. Oh, and it's quick. And it's quiet. And it's kind of free. I have to say, I mean, I, I do like cars. I like cars in general. I like big V8s. And I love the noise and all of that. And it's, it's amazing. I mean, it's great. There's, there's few things that get close to a, a V8, a proper V8 noise um but if i had the money right now i would probably buy some sort of an electric vehicle and put a nice solar system on my house so that i get free electricity and i can charge my car for free as well which would be really freaking awesome because i mean no fuel uh woo, that just no we don't want want to doing that um so we can just do that and oh nope do that there we go so we have to be a little ways away from the other pallets but look at that that's so cool i love it okay so we are gonna stack this in here i wasn't actually planning on doing this today this was supposed to be a job for the next episode to move this we probably won't move, move all of it we'll just move like one or two um i just want to play with this a little bit oh no what happened there um okay so we'll need to lift that up when we come into the, um, there we go. Yeah, we'll need to lift that up when we come into here, but that's fine. But yeah, it'll be so cool to have like just a, a full electric vehicle with a full solar system on your house. And yeah, you just basically, it costs you nothing to drive around because you don't pay for the electricity and you don't pay for fuel. And as far as I know, I mean, I don't know much about electric vehicles, to be honest. Um, 
but as far as I know, there's not much in terms of maintenance either with them compared to a petrol engine or diesel engine. Um, obviously because of the amount of moving parts. Okay. So, lift that up so we don't get stuck in here. The ramp. Lower it down again. Ah, oh, this is so cool. Oh, this is going to work really, really, really well. Love it. Okay. That is brilliant. That is so cool. We'll leave the rest there for the next episode. Um, I just wanted to play around with this a little bit. Oh, <laughs> I'm so excited for this. I don't know why. I'm just really excited to have an electric tractor. And it's so cute. It's so tiny and cute. Oh, I would love to have one of these in real life. Oh, it's brilliant. Although something just this size with a small, like a small three-cylinder diesel engine or whatever in real life would be brilliant as well. It doesn't have to be electric. It just has to be cute and tiny like this. Oh, awesome. Right. Um, we are going to leave that there for now. I'll put it away in a little bit. But that is going to be that for this episode. So in the next episode, we'll probably have to start looking at seeding um, the two fields. Obviously, we have to do lime before we do that. Uh, so we'll probably do an application of lime and then an application of fertilizer and then we'll be seeding. So I'm hoping then when we seed, we'll put another um, sort of application of fertilizer in the ground. Hopefully that'll be two then. But if it doesn't work, it's fine. Then we'll just do one application after it start to, started to grow. Um, but yeah, so I want to try and get the grass fields sort of done and out the way before we need to get into harvest again uh, because it's going to be a big harvest we've got quite a bit of crop all over the place and we need to make some ccm we've got diesel to make out of the canola and then we also have potatoes again this time around and the potatoes is a huge amount of work so yeah we're going to be busy for a while so um yeah we're going to leave it there so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to give me a thumbs up and i'll see you all next time